Ah. Ah. All right, just taking a breath of fresh air. We are uh, we are at uh, Garamu Station. Garamu Station, and we're about a third of the way uh, into our trip from Xining to uh, Lhasa in Tibet on the Qinghai Tibet Railway and here there's in Garamu there's about a 25 minute stop so we're just getting some fresh air and the reason why this stop is quite important actually is because here they're going to change the locomotive so um so up to now so up to now it was an electric locomotive oh you can probably see you're gonna see them detach it maybe So um, up to now, so from we we left from Xining today. Um, we had an electric locomotive, um, and now they're going to change it to a diesel locomotive. It's um, see, you can see right there. They have the electric cable, so they just like connected. It's the reason they're. If you're joining us halfway through, thanks for joining us, uh, CGTN live stream. We're on, the, we're taking the Qinghai to Tibet railway, and we are at Garamu station right now, about a third of the way, and we're changing locomotives from electric to diesel uh, because now is going to be actually the trickiest bit of the journey. The uh, we're about at 2,800 meters here, but this is after Gurumu. We're going to start climbing really quite high, up to 4,000 meters. Uh, and 5,000 meters, actually, uh, the, the highest point of this railway is at uh, over 5,000 meters. It's the highest railway in the world, in case you didn't know it. And um, not only that, but it's very difficult terrain. It's permafrost. A lot of the stretch from now on, I think about 80% of the stretch from here, from Gurumu to, to Lhasa, is um, above 4,000? Nope, sorry. About 80% is on permafrost. So permafrost is frozen earth. So that's very difficult to build on because uh, whether, the, uh, whether it's warm or cold temperatures, then the earth contracts or expands and that's very difficult to, to have uh, stable infrastructure on it. And obviously a railway needs to be very stable um, so that the, the trains so that the trains keep uh, running uh, properly. <laughs> so there it goes. Uh, also, the interesting thing is we often talk about the Qinghai Tibet um, railway uh, from Xining to Lhasa. But actually, the stretch that we just covered, the, the one with the uh, electric locomotive, is uh, it was already built uh, in 1984. It's been functioning since 1984. But the stretch that we are now taking from Garamu to Lhasa, that was only opened in 2006. So it's really quite recent. And uh, because of the construction and the difficult terrain, that is why it's being changed to a diesel locomotive. And yeah, so we're about a third of our way through. It's already starting to get a little bit cold and uh, we're going to be climbing. So uh, there will probably be less oxygen. There might be a little bit of 
altitude sickness obviously that's something when, that happens when uh, when you have less oxygen you might feel a bit dizzy you might feel a bit um, nauseous but uh, hopefully that won't happen it will happen in the middle of the night so hopefully we will be sleeping so now we're just waiting for the diesel locomotive So to be honest, I was actually expecting quite a small station, but it's, Guramu is not a small city. It uh, actually has like quite a decent population, even has an airport. Um, so you can imagine it's a decent sized city. The, I believe Guramu actually means uh, land of many rivers in uh, Mongolian. So uh, because a lot of rivers start from here, there are about 20 rivers. Uh, and uh, one of them actually leads into the Yangtze River. The Yangtze River is, uh, has, along with the Mekong, and the Yellow River all have their source in the, on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. So near here, all of these major rivers from uh, in, in East Asia all have their source here uh, on this really important uh, high plateau um, at a very high altitude. Okay, now you Okay, well, now you can see the, uh, the diesel locomotive is arriving, so uh, they will be attaching that soon. So it actually goes quite fast.
really very precise work that needs to be done and you will want the professionals to do it <laughs> and uh, people that you trust because we don't want the locomotive going off without the train when we're stuck in the middle of the plateau. But there are about six trains that go from Xining to Lhasa every day, so I'm sure they know exactly what they're doing. And uh, it's almost a walk in the park now, or at least it's not too difficult. Right, well, I think uh, we might be uh, leaving soon, so we had better hop back on board so we don't miss our train. Thanks for joining this uh, CGTN live stream, and we will have much more in the next few days. So keep tuned, stay tuned, keep watching. <laughs>